Well, I guess it's good afternoon um, instead of good morning. I still feel like I've got brain freeze from having that 10-day uh, kind of vacation with all the snow and ice. Um, my wife actually cried this morning, and they were tears of joy that our three boys were going back to school. <laughs> she couldn't get them out of the house fast enough. I said, why are you sad? Because they're going, no, no, I'm just glad they're out of here. They're driving me crazy. And they're 15, 12, and 9. We've got a lot of testosterone in the Golden household, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> so anyway, well, my name's Steve Golden. I'm with the law firm of Campbell and Brandon, and uh, I've been practicing uh, real estate law for about 19 years now. Um, I'm going to say that I started when I was about five years old, but that would be a lie. And although I am a liar, I mean lawyer, it's, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, but, uh, you know, in my 19 years of practice, I've learned a lot. I still have a lot more to learn, but one thing, you know, that keeps coming true to me um, over and over again is, is ethics and ethical considerations no matter what you do and I'm going to touch on that today um, because I think it's so important. People tend to relax ethics um, when times get tougher. Um, I've seen it over and over again um, in my real estate practice. So some of you are in real estate, some are in related real estate specialties, but I think, I hope you can draw today the fact that um, you need to be ethical no matter what you do. Um, now, switching gears a little bit, I'm going to flesh that out a lot more later. I'm going to give stories, real life stories about what I've encountered, which may relate, may not, but I hope that you'll enjoy them. But our firm um, has three offices around town. We've got an office here in Alpharetta. We have one off Hammond Drive, and we have one in Buckhead, above Chops, one Buckhead Plaza. I don't get down there very often. They don't let me down there. I'm up here in Alpharetta. We've got spit tunes, and we call it God's country. So it's funny that people from in town don't like to come out of town, and we don't like to go in town. So that kind of works out well. Um, yeah, our attorneys are great. Mike Campbell. Uh, is a former uh, uh, lieutenant colonel in the Marine Corps. He's a Vandy Law grad. Um, I highly respect him a lot. He's our leader. He says that basically, you know, the philosophy of the firm is you have a choice. You can either eat good or you can sleep good. Well, you know, we choose the latter. We want to sleep good. Now, don't get us wrong. We'd like to eat, um, but we want to sleep good at night, too. And Camille Brandon, she's former King and Spaulding. She heads up our, uh, our Buckhead office. And those are the, you know, that's Camille Brandon and Mike Campbell. Um, our specialties are mostly residential and commercial closings, and we love to do those. We've got attorneys that specialize in commercial deals. We try to not do everything. You know, if I told you I did commercial business, it's not true. I don't. You know, I try to specialize in residential real estate deals, okay? Um, we've got commercial guys. We have, um, you can see the outline here, I'm just working off that. We do foreclosure work, bankruptcy work, evictions. That's kind of the dark side of the firm, but nonetheless, you know, it's an area of practice that helps diversify us, and which I think is very important because you want your real estate firm to be around. And when you just do closings only, it can be a tough road to hoe when interest rates, you know, rise and refis have gone away and the purchase business has not picked up. So we view that as a great way to diversify us. Do I like to do it? I personally don't. When I first started out years ago with a big law firm here in town, I actually had to conduct a foreclosure, you know, um, sales on the courthouse steps, and I didn't really like that a whole lot. So I like being at the closing table, meeting and greeting, helping people, you know, get there and enjoying uh, home ownership which is very important. We do have litigation attorneys, which comes in handy from time to time. Not necessarily in case something goes wrong, but when you get a litigator's perspective on matters, it sometimes can prevent a greater harm, whether it's drafting a contract, whether it's trying to help somebody make an informed decision on how to deal with the matter. Some people take it personally when, when there's been a problem. but. Um, you know, once they calm down, they talk to a litigator and they find out that it's probably a losing proposition and it's going to cost you a heck of a lot of money. And at the end of the day, you know, you probably don't want to do it. 
it, you know, it's a positive good thing. It calms people down. So, but, and if the milk spilled, like sometimes it does happen where there's not prevention in place, you know, what we do is, um, you know, we have a litigator meet with them. They talk about the cause of action, the cost, the viability as to how much, you know, um, and, and how successful it may be. Um, another really cool thing about our firm is that we're affiliated with an attorney by the name of Bernard Kears, who is Mike Campbell's brother-in-law. So he's affiliated in more ways than one, but Bernard is a fantastic man. He's been practicing wills, trust, and estate law for a long time, and he specializes um, in non-U.S. residents. So when people come in, um, he's able to help them with their special needs. There are, there are special laws special needs and he can help them um, you know with uh, with their wills estates he can also help them with their their benefits their employment packages so he's good he also works very closely with an immigration attorney so he can help people that are coming in not necessarily as you know, second home buyers but to relocate for business or to move you know to the uh, United States so that's a really good thing that we have and also corporate law. We have an attorney that specializes in corporate law. He can set up LLCs, he can set up S Corps, he can help you guys with partnerships. So if you know anybody that has a corporate law need, you know, let us know. Now, we'll be the first to tell you, if we don't have the area of expertise or some, something outside of the scope of what we do, we're not going to necessarily send you away. You know, we'll be a referral network, so we can find an attorney that's respectable, respectable that will you know be able to help. So we try to do that. We try to you know be a resource to everybody, be a listening ear. We help you know if it's in our area of expertise. If it's not, you know, we'll we'll send them away. But you know, long story short, we consider ourselves just as an introduction to the firm a boutique closing firm that has other resources available. <coughs> Boutique, it means that it's it's high touch. Um, it's the ABCs. We believe, you know, in, in whatever we do with accessibility, we believe in having the best people, the best resources. Um, we also believe in communication and culture. Our culture is very important to us that Mike established years ago. In fact, it's so important to have that connection that we have a ratio with our closing secretaries to where each one of them works on no more than 35 files a month. It's expensive to do that, but again, our philosophy is we want to sleep good. So if it's 35 to 1, it's about one a day. You're going to get the phone call return or answer, which is very nice. You're going to get that closing statement ahead of time, which everybody wants to see, whether you're in the business or not, if it's your personal home closing, you're going to want a closing statement. That's the document that everybody wants, okay? So, you know, we absolutely, you know, um, you know, cherish our people, their gold. You know, we know that 90% of the time you're going to be dealing with our back office, not with us. And so we try to set up a culture to where those guys can absolutely succeed, okay? Do y'all have any questions about the firm? Be so quiet. Does everybody have brain freeze like me? I'm trying to wake up here. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, do you want me to go ahead and start talking about short sales? Yeah. Um, yeah. Has everyone, those of you that have not placed an order yet, um, please try to do that as quickly as you can so that we won't disturb Steve's speech. Well, I'll just tell Okay. Yeah, let's just give them a few minutes. Medium. Anybody know a good attorney joke? <laughs> I know some, but I can't tell them in public. <laughs> I'll be asked to step down. <laughs> There's a fellow brethren back there. <laughs> he walked up to me and said, Are you a liar? I said, No. <laughs> but we have fun with that.